Yeah, what up? It's your boy Moff the God, aka God's Wrath, here with another Destiny 2 video. Anyway, I decided to make these tips, basically five of them, to help you become a stronger player in uh, Destiny 2. For those who have played Destiny 1, you're an vet or exceptional player. You know, this is really not for you. This is for the players that are just picking up Destiny, uh, who really don't have a leg to stand on. You already know the mechanics, so this is not for you. This is for them. Step one, like I said, know your strength and your weaknesses. What I mean by this is know what you are good at and where you need help. If you are if you are good at, at PvP, sorry about that, player versus player, but have a hard time in PvE, player versus enemy, which is basically the AI, you simply need to learn your enemy. Realize all AI move in a certain manner and rarely deviate from that pattern. Even while engaging other AI, just shoot one and they all turn on you. Study them closely. That's basically what you need to know in tip one. Two, choose weapons that fit your playstyle. But keep this in mind, all weapons are situational. Meaning just because this weapon is good in PvE doesn't mean it will perform the same in PvP. Players aren't easily predictable. As they say, as as an AI which moves in a predictable manner. So learn and choose your weapons wisely. For example, well, as you can see, the AI die with ease. For the example that I just gave you, uh, it changes no matter the gun archetype. The same way you kill an AI will not be the same way you kill a player. I mean, the example that I just showed you was a little off because the guy really wasn't strafing, but it was the end of the match. And the AI, pretty much like the Vex, they're only going to move in one manner. They're not too sketchy unless it's a Minotaur or, yeah, the Minotaur. But other than that, choose your weapons wisely. Know your engagements, know the situations. But like I said, through trial and error, that's how you pick it up. And that's number two. Number three, run the storyline solo until you reach level 20. The reason I say that is because by doing that, you're going to gain so much experience. And that's basically what you need when dealing with any game. You want to you want to gain experience and learn the mechanics, learn how to play the game. You know what I'm saying? It's like if you do it this way, uh, you're going to learn everything. And then not only that is. Especially in this game, the higher your your power gets, the stronger the enemies get, and with that, because uh, with that comes experience, and uh, that's how you're gonna progress. You know, what I mean, that's it's just it's simple. Basically, it's like I could go so many ways with it, but that's just the clearest I can tell you. Run the storyline solo. That allow you to uh, grow with the story. You'll learn the ins and outs. You'll learn how to deal with different enemies. You'll learn. Uh, how to use different weapons because every weapon has its own perks and its own downfalls. It's like some might have severe recoil, the other might not have no recoil, but yet the power of it is minimized due to either the distance or a scout rifle, which is good at distances like a sniper, but uh, when you're close range, you might not be able to get that same damage because they're up in your face with like an SMG or like uh some type of auto rifle or maybe it doesn't kill the ai as fast but as you go and you progress to the storyline i'm saying do this with one of your characters your first character in order to get your feet wet and then after that basically uh yeah you'll you'll be able to hone your skills like that and then you'll learn the game and then it's just that simple and uh number four basically you want to when when you are at a level to where you're able to run that after you complete a, a certain amount of things in the storyline what you want to do is you want to run strikes as soon as you're able because a strikes are one of your first lessons when it comes to working as a team no matter if you're running with randoms or not uh or whether they're friends it's, it's going to basically teach you how to work uh basically yeah it's going to teach you how to work in a situation to where it's just not you. You're going to be working with other people. Sometimes, like I said, unless you're in a clan and your friends are on all the time, you're basically going to be running random. Not everybody has a friend that played this game. So basically, yeah, that's what you're going to do. As soon as you're able to get into these strikes, it's going to show you how to base basically. Yeah. Like I said, it's going to, it's going to show you how to uh, work as a group. And then, you know, that's just the simplest I can put it. I know I kind of twisted it up, but yeah, 
It's going to teach you how to work in a group. And in Destiny, you're going to need that. Uh, and basically, last but not least, yeah, number five, which is probably the most important. Uh, yeah, taking on more harder content such as Nightfalls or Raids. Always listen and pay close attention to the person that's controlling the raid. It's like if you jump into if if you don't have your friends on and then you ask for help and these guys volunteer like guided games to help you, don't be Mr. Know-it-all. That's the one thing I can tell you. Do not be Mr. Know-it-all because if you're one of those guys, you're either going to get boot or when you think you're getting to a certain point and yeah, you're just going to get booted. So always be aware who you're playing with. I'm not saying uh, subject yourself to punishment as far as verbally, but if you're in a if you're in a group and these guys are helping you accomplish something that you normally couldn't accomplish on your own, be appreciative, be humble, and even if you know it, just be humble, give encouragement, let the person know that's helping you that you really appreciate it. I'm not saying you gotta get over the exaggerated with it, like oh my god, thank you, this is the best thing. No, but let the guy know or the group know that you appreciate their help and who knows they might actually pull you in their clan but by doing these things you make the load a lot easier or you make your uh constant deaths a little bit more bearable people will be uh a lot more likely to deal with you uh just being like that when you're humble but if you're salty or you don't know what you're doing, but you're one of those that proclaim it. Like, oh, well, I know what to do. I watch the video. Look, and I'm just going to let you know straight off the back, and it's not to be negative. Watching a video means nothing. It's trial and error. You play the game. You learn it. If you don't, you can watch a million videos. But until you actually play the game, you're basically not even scratching the surface. You're just watching somebody else accomplish something that you're trying to accomplish. And that's not being uh, salty or, you know, trying to be negative about it. But look, get in the group, play as a play, play as a group. Don't be a lone wolf. Oh, that's and, and that's pretty much on number five. That's it. Like I said, it's, it's pretty much easy. Just play your position. Be humble. Learn how to utilize corners throughout the course of this video. I'm really not going to go to the end because I don't want to bore you. But basically, if you watch the video, you're going to notice in a lot of key situations, I'm using angles. I'm using corners. I'm not out in the open. Uh, you will do that eventually once you get to a certain point when your comfortability is there. But for the most part, I'm going to hit and I'm going to dip in, hit, and then I'm going to dip out. And basically, you see, I'm bouncing in and out on this ogre. That's what you need to do. That's how you compliment your team. That's how you get people calling you like, hey, you know, can you help me on this nightfall? Can you help me? And that's the point that you want to get to. You want to get you want to get rid of all like the hard content. You want to do the storyline. You want to be in a group that's sufficient. You want people to help you. And that's how you do it by helping them. You're not going to start off good off the back. But as you grow with the game, you'll learn the mechanics. I can give you another example in another video on exactly how all AI moves. They all move in a predictable manner. It's just paying attention and watching them. This raid, I mean, this strike wasn't that hard. But if I was one of those players that really wasn't good at PvE, just do what I do. Play angles. Use corners. Don't stick out. Lay back. Know when to pop in and pop out. And by watching my example, you're probably going to learn it throughout the whole video. I'm bouncing it out. Even though my style is more aggressive, I know in order to show you, I have to show you the correct manner. And that's using corners, using cover. This is not a cover-based shooter, but you do need to use cover if you don't know how to play this game. Because you will get absolutely melted and if your whole team wipes, I mean, it's not that bad on the strike. But if you're playing something like the raid, you want to be uh, as efficient as possible. It's like you want them to know that you're able to play. And if you're dying every five seconds, which it will happen sometime until you get your feet wet. And then it's not always a guarantee that you won't die. But if you watch my gameplay and you pick up the tips that I gave you, which weren't uh, too bad. They're just really straight to the point. You'll get it. 
And uh, another thing before uh, I close this and let the rest of this video play, the best thing you can do if you don't already have it is pick up Destiny 1. You pick up Destiny 1, you will learn every mechanic that they have in Destiny. As far as it may not be the same raid or the same strike, but the AI move exactly the same. The only difference from this to, to from year one is the fact that they got new abilities. But it's and maybe like the Vandal moves a little different. But other than that, they're all the same. The way they move up on you, how they kill you, like it's all the same. So that's basically all you have to do. And that's my five tips. Uh, I will reiterate some of it. Basically, know your strengths and know your weaknesses. Play to them. If you're good at one thing, uh, learn how to get good at the other thing and know that they're different in the way they play out. Uh, enemies are going to move different than players. Players are more astute. Players are more on point. Players use different weapons. So you learn that. That'll help you on that edge. Team player. Somebody die. And you're able to revive them, revive them. Don't put yourself in the situation to you get white. But if you're the last one, yeah, get him up because 9 out of 10, that's going to be how you survive. And that's basically how you do it on that edge. If you're not a good player, play your angles. Sorry about that. The volume went up, but yeah, play your angles. And uh, like I said, that's basically how you do that. And uh, hopefully, you know, this video will show you exactly how to play. Like I said, sorry, the volume is so loud, but. I forgot to lower it on this one. But anyways, that's my five tips on how to become a stronger player in Destiny. Guarantee if you pay attention to them, you will become a stronger player in Destiny. Uh, my name is Moff the God. If you're not subscribed to me, please subscribe. Uh, if you're subscribed to me, slap that like button. One of my videos got to 1,000 views. Hopefully, another one will get that far. If not, I'm thankful for those who have viewed my content. And like I said... Pay attention to this and I can guarantee you will become a lot stronger player in Destiny 2. And uh, you enjoy the rest of your night, ladies.
Echo and the other Guardians. Let's get back to town. Zavala and Sloan need to know about 